Hi there. This video covers everything you need to know about creating view forms. We'll explore the fields that are specifically designed for use in view forms and dive into the details of database requirements. A view form displays information from an external data source. You can use view forms when you want to access data from a relational database that is external to BMC Helix Innovation Suite. Here are some prerequisites that you need to be aware of. You can create or modify a view form only when you have access to Developer Studio. And, you should be well versed with the data types of the external database you plan to access. Let us see how to create a view form. Log into the Developer Studio, click File, New, and View Form. The Intuitive Wizard helps you add a database table and select the required columns for the view form. Here, we have a view form created with all default fields. When you are creating a view form, you must associate a database table or a view with it. Additionally, the table associated with the view form must meet these requirements. The database table must be accessible to the database that the AR system server is using. You must have at least read access to the database table. The database table must include a column that has non-null and unique values. Long columns must allow null values. The field properties on a view form are almost the same as that of a regular form. But, there are some field properties exclusively available for view forms. Let's see the field properties that are specific for a view form. The view information category includes a table property, with a link to the external database. It also includes a column property, displaying a column name on which the field is created. You cannot change the data type of a character field on a view form. You can decrease the input length, but that does not alter the corresponding column in the database. Also, do not increase the input length beyond its initial value. You can set up a remote MSSQL, PostgreSQL, or Oracle database for a view form. You must follow the steps and use the correct table name syntax to access the remote table. I hope this video helped you to understand view forms in Developer Studio. For more information, Please see our product documentation at docs.bmc.com. Thanks for watching.